All right, I'm the Fly Ray Master, and huge changes are coming if you program keys, have all keys lost, whether you're using OEM or aftermarket, big changes are coming. If you're not familiar with NASTF, they are the National Automotive Service Task Force. They're kind of our kind of sort of advocate for, well, programming and access to information with OEMs. And unfortunately, some things have changed that are dramatically bad or good for the industry, depending on your opinion. Message from NASTF, aftermarket scan tool validation program is coming soon. As soon as 45 to 60 days, you will need a NASTF BSP ID to use a scan tool to perform security functions, including adding a key, all keys lost, immobilizer functions, any other and any other process that the OEM determines to be security related. You'll be responsible for the identity of the vehicle owner, but you are not required to fill out a D1. The tool and NASTF will take care of this process behind the scenes. Toolmakers have the capability to offer both online and offline functionality. Follow the link below for more information. I will include it in the description. Uh, if you do not have your VSP ID, we recommend applying as soon as possible to avoid any potential interruptions in your business. VSP applicants must prove documentation providing proper registration of their business, driver's license, locksmith license in some states and locales, and agree to a background check. The cost is non-refundable $100 background check and $325 for a two-year credential. And that's for one person. That's really important to mention. That is for one person. Issued VSP ID registry credentials are only issued to persons who apply to access the registry who have granted access to obtain and utilize the information from automaker websites to service vehicle. The, re the registry credentials do not extend to other employees within the business. To put a correlation to it, it's just like the auto auth for Chrysler vehicles where you have to log in to be able to clear codes. I understand the reasoning behind it is for security reasons, but the hacker tools are going to circumvent these rules. Um, it's just the way of the world. So to do a correlation, back in the day when you couldn't buy like BMW, Mercedes-Benz scan tools, there was a huge market for clone tools. That's all this is going to do is every shop is going to be trying to figure out a workaround for this system to work around this system. It's it's not going to help security. The bad people are still going to do it the wrong way and clone it or et cetera, et cetera. Honestly, this is going to be a huge boom for, well, mobile technicians that have locksmith license because they're already licensed. They can continue doing what they've been doing. So let me know in the comments how you feel about this because putting another hurdle in the way of properly fixing a car I don't think is helping the industry, but that's my opinion. I, I just see this as another problem that shops have to deal with that isn't going to solve any sort of problem other than, to be honest, making some other people some more money. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but it is what it is. As always, thanks for watching. I am the Fly Raid Master.